Hey guys, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to do a little bit of a different video on um, Vain Takes a Sip. This is not going to be a review video, but it's kind of an overview of a few of my favorite drink um, accessories. So just some things that I like um, that are beverage related that I'm kind of obsessed with that I wanted to share with you guys. And I feel like I dragged my whole kitchen in here. And it feels very, like a lot of the things that are here feel very weird to be in this setup. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoy this. You can pick up maybe some tips or just see my favorite things that I like. So we'll get started. So the first thing I'll pick is this random item to bring. And it's this ice tray. As you can tell by the bottom, they're like little round ice trays. So they're pretty deep, but they're nice and round, slightly smaller um, than regular ice cubes. And they're supposed to be like easy pop out. They're not always the easiest to pop out, but there we go. We get one so you could see it. Now, the reason I like these ice cubes is I just feel like I like smaller ice cubes. I just kind of do. It's kind of a gimmick, but they do really come out um, easier for the most part. So I like that about them. And I also like a lot of ice in my drink, but I don't like a lot of space taken up. So I could put what feels like more ice in a drink with less space taken up. And Another thing about these ice cubes that I really like is that they fit pretty well into um, one of my next favorite things that I'm going to show you, which is this. This is a water bottle. I love the water bottle. Basically, I want to say about a year ago, I stopped drinking bottled water, and I knew that I had to get like a filtering water thing because I don't always like the taste of tap water. So this makes switching from... Um, bottled water to tap water so much easier so basically what it is it's a regular like BPA free um, water bottle and then this cool little th honeycomb shaped thing is the filter so as you you know push it through to take a sip it filters your water um, now this cup you change it every I think two months it is and it comes in a bunch of different colors. I switch mine out all the time. I think I started with the green one. I've gone through black, yellow. Now I'm on the pink one. But yeah, you can pick these up in a few places. I'll link below everywhere you can get these. Um, but I love this water bottle. The only issue with it is if you like cold water, you can't really put ice in it. But these um, ice cubes from this tray kind of fit in here. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. It depends how full I filled the tray. So, but... You can see it like if I just put a little bit of water on this to melt it, it'll go through and it'll fit in here. So normally what I do is I take a bunch of them. I run them through water because I always rinse my eyes. I'm just weird like that. And then that normally melts it just enough and then it'll go through into um, the bottle. Also, the um, people at Water Bobble, I guess they have been hearing that a lot of people want their water colder. So they make ice cube trays that specifically fit in here. So something to note. But without the ice cube shapes, I do love it. It comes with a cap as well. I think this is the medium size. There's a much bigger size. There's this size and there's a little baby size. So I really like these. And I like it so much that um, I switched out my home pitcher to, I just took this out the fridge, so, uh, a water bobble jug. So this is from the same makers as this bottle. Um, but this is obviously for your home. And I believe... I don't know if it tells you how many ounces is on here. I want to say something like 64. Um, it's like basically essentially two liters of water. Um, and I really like this because it's a fast filtering system. If you have a, a pretty low stream of water, you can just, you just take this off. Yikes. And um, you could just, you know, put this under the faucet and it filters it as it goes. I know with other Brita's I've had in the past, they were bigger, clunkier. They took up a lot of space in my fridge and they didn't, the water didn't um, filter quickly to the water on the go. I have a couple of other on the go cups that I love. Now, if I'm going to do a cold drink, I am very partial to my Starbucks double walled um, cold drink tumblers. I love these. I have one in every size. Venti. I think my Venti one might have broken, but I have it in Venti. I think I have Trenta Venti, Venti Grande and Tall. Um, I love these. I think they're pretty durable for the most part. Um, they're easy to clean. You can put anything in here from soda to water to juice to actual Starbucks drinks and you get a discount when you use a reusable cup on a Starbucks drink. Um, with uh, replacement straws that you could pick up in the store. 
um, packs of three or four um, that you can pick up to replace them, you know, because after a while straws get kind of gross and that sort of thing. Um, and it also comes with this universal dome lid for when you are um, getting a frappuccino or something where you want to leave room for whipped cream so it doesn't get smushed in here. You would use this one instead. So I really like these. I love them. They have a if I'm drinking a hot drink, I go for my fuel. Um, this is from Home Presence, and this I have tried to find before online. I'll link the Home Presence website, but I don't remember seeing it. Um, but this is my to-go, and the reason I love this to-go is because most um, to-go cups are really big, and I can't drink that much hot liquid. Like, it's just not for me. And this one is exactly 8 ounces, so sometimes I'll even put a cold drink in here because it's just the perfect portion controlled size. Of course it's green, my favorite color, double lined. And this drink, it's either, this is mainly for my green smoothies in the morning or anything that's kind of a thicker formula. Although I have put like, you know, simple drinks in here as well. And this is from uh, Xylus. And I don't know exactly what it's called, but I will put it below. And it's specifically made for shakes on the go. It has this in the inside this kind of spoke looking um, thing and this kind of helps aerate and blend things. So anytime I have something that needs to be blended or shaken up, I put it in here because it's just really good. Another thing is mine is very faded because it's very old, but it has uh, the ounces on here. So a lot of times when you use like flavor packets and stuff, they're like 16 ounces and you're just kind of guessing. So here you'll know this one goes up to 16 ounces, but maybe I only want eight ounces of drink. I know where to fill it up. So it goes four, eight, 12, 16, and I have an obsession with straws. So that's my next thing. I love straws. I just think you can drink everything faster and everything tastes better through a straw. I don't know why. I like these really fun soda straws that you can pick up at Ikea, and they're bendy and they're in fun colors. Another reason I like the fun color straws, they're really good for parties. You serve your drink with the, you know, colored straws, and depending how many guests you have. If you have a small little gathering of friends, your drinks won't get confused because you'll know Vanessa has the green straw, so-and-so has the purple straw, so on and so forth. So, definitely like straws, especially for um, party reasons. Another thing that I enjoy when I'm at home is my little cocktail stirrer. I have no clue where to get this, but I'll link an awesome one. So, uh, my sister left these for me. She had a few of them. I mix everything with this. Like, anytime I make a drink and it just needs a little extra mixing, I use this and I love it. I seriously use this, like, every day. I just like mixing up my drinks with this little thing, especially when you have like powdery drinks. I've shown this before, and this is the Jakari um, can saver, and it's basically a lid so that all your canned beverages now, you know, don't have to be consumed in one shot. So you just put this on there, you can drink through it, so it's great for picnics, so no bugs get into your drink, and then you can just cover it up. And store it in the fridge if you don't finish like a can of soda or a can of Arizona iced tea or something like that. It comes in four different colors um, to a pack. And yeah, they're really awesome. Nice and expensive way to save your beverages. The next thing I'm going to talk about are these. You wouldn't think of them as a drink access accessory. But I don't necessarily think of them as a drink, I guess. And it's the Mio Liquid um, water enhancers. These are just two of the flavors. I have every flavor except two of them, I think. I love these a lot. This one's strawberry watermelon and this one's blueberry lemonade. Um, they're just really good when you want to add a little something extra to your water. They're good to keep in the fridge. Like if you haven't gone grocery shopping, but you don't really want water, you're looking for something else. You can make a quick drink with this. You can make a quick mixer, you know, make some blueberry lemonade add some blueberry vodka delicious drink and I love to use them with my last and super favorite drink accessory it's a big one y'all the soda stream so this is my soda stream machine that I dragged out my uh, kitchen I love the soda stream it doesn't require any electricity which is awesome it's just this big machine and basically let's see if I can get this off the machine works with this CO2 um, tank that's in the back, and it just plugs in there. It's super easy to install. As you see, I just dismantled it and reinstalled it. And then you put, whoops, <laughs> I just broke that, but whatever. So a tray goes in there. And then you tilt this back, and you screw in your one liter bottle and that with uh, cold water in it. So this is the one liter bottle. You fill it up to the cold water right there. 
you screw it in, you hit the carbon button a couple times until you hear a couple loud buzzes. I'll do a demo for you guys one day. And then you can mix in any flavor of um, soda you want. So here's a couple that I've purchased. This is the ginger ale soda stream flavor. And this is the Diet Cola one. So you can pick. They have a ton of different flavors out there. They're really awesome. Another thing, like I just mentioned, I don't just use my Soda Stream flavors with it. I use my meals with my Soda Stream. You can do a little bit of um, all natural juice in there. You can do some like extracts. Really, anything kind of liquidy can go in there. So. It's really cool, but I love it. It saves tons of money on soda. It saves plastic, and it saves um, a lot of resources, so it's really good. The cup or the bottle is BPA-free. You could also get glass bottles. You could buy more bottles so that you have a couple sodas in the fridge, not just one. Um, and like I said, each um, serving thing makes a liter of soda. So I love the Soda Stream, and I want to give a thank you to my friend Helena who bought this for my birthday, and I've never looked back. Another great thing about the Soda Stream is if you have no flavors, no anything in it, you could just make your own seltzer all the time, which I think I use that more than anything. I just finished making um, some Diet Cola, though. But yeah, love, love, love the Soda Stream, and those are kind of my drink accessories that I'm obsessed with and and i hope you guys like them and it links below where i got all this stuff and i'll talk to you guys later